Innovation and investment are key to harnessing the full potential of renewable energy. I'm in the UAE Emirates of Sharjah at the headquarters of environmental waste company BIA and one project could lead to a breakthrough in renewable energy in the region. I caught up with BIA CEO Khaled al Huraimo to find out what his company is doing to become more sustainable. Well, here we're at the, one of the largest material waste uh, recycling facilities uh, in the world, actually. This is the largest MRF in the Middle East, where we process uh, approximately uh, 2,000 tons of waste daily. When we started, you know, the main challenge, you know, we, we were set up to tackle environmental challenges our region is facing. But the main immediate problem we want to solve was waste management. And we're about to complete the construction of the first waste to energy plant in the region. And that will help us reach our zero waste target. In the last years, the UAE has put very clear agendas. Uh, so, so in terms of renewable energy, in terms of waste diversion, we also see it happening across the GCC. Last year, we, we entered Saudi Arabia and we entered Egypt during the pandemic, so it was a challenging time. In Egypt, their target is to reach a waste diversion of 80%. How does it work? How do you separate? Well, we have a mechanical process, different types of processes that segregate all the type of waste. And actually, we'll be installing a robot very soon, which will be the first in the region. Through a robot, we'll be able to segregate the different types of waste through machine learning. Okay, let's talk about the UAE in specific. We're in oil and gas land. I mean, this is the bread and butter. But yet there's a vision and there's a target to try and make this region a lot more sustainable and renewable energy is going to be part of that. Yeah. How do you play a role? Well, uh, one of the projects is a 50-50 joint venture called the Emirates Waste to Energy Company. So now we're building or we're completing the construction of our first project, which uh, processes uh, 300,000 tons of waste annually and generate, uh, will generate 30 megawatts of power. That's an equivalent of powering approximately 28,000 homes. Our second project is our solar landfill project. So once, once we achieve our target of zero waste and our waste to energy plant is commissioned, we have our landfill will not be needed anymore. So we're looking, how can I repurpose this landfill? The surface area is about 47 hectares. That will all be covered with solar panels after the landfill is capped. Uh, and will generate an additional 120 megawatts of uh, power, renewable power. Uh, another project also that we've announced uh, recently is our waste to hydrogen. So this will be also uh, one of the first in the world. We will be converting waste to hydrogen and we will be procuring a fleet of hydrogen powered waste collection trucks. So it will be a full circular loop. So this is one pilot project that we are working on and we hope to announce more about it very soon.